Hey, I wanted to do this quick video on transformers. Um, transformers are something that we have to work with every day in air conditioning equipment. And there's a couple things I want to show you, a couple things that will save you some, uh, hopefully save you some heartache. So I've got a transformer right here. This is a typical 40 VA transformer that uh, you're going to see in a lot of different pieces of air conditioning equipment. This one is a multi-tap primary transformer, which just means that you can connect this primary, the input on the transformer, to several different voltages. And if you look here on top, you can see 40 VA, 50 or 60 hertz with primary 120 volts, 208 or 240. It says primary common is white, which means you always use white on the primary. You use black for 120 volts, red for 208, and orange for 240 volts. And then the secondary is 24 volts, red and green. So what that means is for your secondary, you're always gonna use these two. This, this transformer is only good for a single secondary voltage, 24 volts, and then on your input side, your primary is what they call it. That's what we call the input side on a transformer. That's where you would connect your white as one side, and then you would choose one of these three colors, depending on if you're 120 volts, that would be your black. If you're 208 volts, that would be your red. And then if you're 240 volts, that'd be your orange. Now, these come in a lot of different configurations. Some of them don't use wires, separate wires. They actually just have separate pins in them um, on the primary. The one thing, the first thing that I want you to know is that you're only going to use the white and one other color, you do not want to take the other two and then jumper them together. Obviously, you need to cut them, cap them with a wire nut individually from one another rather than connecting them together. If you connect them together, now you are shunting the primary of the transformer and you are going to burn it up. I've done that before. So learn from my mistake. What does a transformer do? A transformer is designed to change a voltage, either step up or step down. A step up transformer takes a primary that is of a lower voltage and then the secondary goes up in voltage or step down where the primary is of a higher voltage and it goes down to a lower voltage, which is what we have right here. This is a step down transformer. If I was going to use this in a typical gas furnace, then it would be 120 volts stepped down to 24 volts, and a typical residential uh, air handler would be 240 volts stepped down to 24 volts. The way this works is actually very simple. There's two sets of windings in here. I actually did a separate video where I tore one apart, but you have two separate windings in here, and depending on the number of wraps, it steps down uh, based on the number of wraps, primary to secondary. So in the case of this one, if I was going from 120 volts down to 24, that's five times less. So it'd have five times fewer wraps on the second secondary of wire than there would be on the primary side. If 240 down to 24, that's 10 times. So 10 times more wraps on the primary wraps of wire on the inside of this transformer than there is on the secondary. But what I wanted to talk about most of all is this rating on the transformer, this rating of VA. The VA rating stands for volt amps. I did a podcast on this as well, a short podcast episode. Volt amps means volts times amps. So if you have a 40 VA transformer like this one is, that means 40 volts times amps. If it's a 24 volt primary, then you take 40, you divide it by 24, 40 divided by 24 equals 1.66, right, right in there. And so that means that the secondary of this transformer can handle 1.66 amps at 24 volts. 24 volts times 1.66 equals 40 VA. So when you're looking at how many loads, how many th different things this, this uh, transformer can power, you have to take that into account, how much amp draw is there going to be. And for a typical air conditioning system, this would be enough to power your, you know, contactor coil, maybe your reversing valve, it's a heat pump, your blower relay, just your control side. But using this one factory transformer to also energize, say, a UV light or other indoor air quality products, or maybe, say, a, a zoning panel with uh, damper actuators, those sorts of things, is, is probably not going to work. You're probably going to either have to upsize the factory transformer to a larger size, say, a 60 or 75 VA, or add a second transformer to just power those secondary uh, devices, which is another popular thing that, uh, that people will do. A couple things to know here is that when you add a secondary transformer, you are adding additional load load to the power that's coming into the air handler or furnace. And so you have to think about that when you're dealing with wire sizing, um, because now you are adding additional load to the system. But the main thing that I wanted to point out here is that VA may seem very much like wattage, uh, and they are very similar. In fact, VA and wattage are the same number if you have a power factor of one. And power factor just means how efficiently are the loads using the power. Anytime we do not have a unity power factor, which that's a power factor of one, anytime you have a number 
number lower than that, your VA will be higher than your wattage, meaning your VA usage will be higher than your wattage. When we're talking about wattage versus VA, transformers tend to be sized in VA because that's the total amount that they can handle, whereas your wattage may actually be slightly lower than that depending on your power factor. You still have to take into account your volts times amps, which is very simple to do. All you do is you just measure your voltage with a voltmeter. You measure your amperage with an amp clamp or an in-series amp measurement. You multiply the two together. That's your VA. And you just have to make sure not to go over the VA rating of your transformer. You got no problem at that point, which again, in the field, you can do this measurement. Run your different loads, run your blower, run your heat, run your uh, air conditioning, run your reversing valve. If you're in air conditioning mode on a heat pump, take those amperage multiply it times the voltage and make sure that you're below the VA rating. If you're going to add in additional loads, you have to do that same calculation. The VA rating is obviously rated at the voltage of the secondary side. So whatever the secondary side voltage is, that's what you have to account for. So that's it. It's actually quite simple. Um, another interesting thing to do sometime is to measure your amperage on your secondary and your primary on a system that's running. And what you're going to notice, if it's a 24 volt step down transformer like this for 240 down to 24, and let's say you're, you're reading one amp on on the secondary, you're going to read one tenth as many amps on the primary because you have 10 times higher voltage. So as an example, if you're drawing one amp on the secondary, so I've got my clamp around the secondary red wire here with the thing running, one amp here. Then when I read on the primary, put clamp here, I'm going to only read 0.1 amp because 0.1 times 10 equals one. If it was 120 volts, so say it was a gas furnace, then it would be five times as much or five or five time divisor. So it'd be 0.2 on the primary and then 0.1 or one on the secondary. If it's a gas furnace, and so now we're using black and white for 120 volts, we could put our clamp over either one of these wires, and you would see that it's a five time divisor instead of 10 times. So if we have uh, one amp on the secondary, then we would have 0.2 amps on the primary. Because again, as that voltage decreases, the amperage increases. That's just a basic function of Watt's law. Because if we're keeping, if, if the watts are equal on both sides, or in this case, more accurately, the VA, then as we increase or decrease the voltage, we're going to change the amperage as well, which is why with the higher voltage, we see a lower amperage. With the lower voltage, we see a higher amperage, which is why if you've ever done anything like a car stereo where you're dealing with 12 volts, lower voltage, and you've got a 2000 watt amp, you've noticed that you have to use enormous wire because at that lower voltage, you have much higher amperage in order to drive the same uh, wattage overall. Some interesting things, transformers are always vo uh, rated in VA, that's volt amps, and you have to make sure that you don't overload them, make sure that you don't connect two of the primary leads together, and make sure that you're using the correct voltage. A, a common mistake that's made with these is people will take equipment that's either 240 or, or 208, they'll put it on a 208 power supply, and they won't retap it for 208. So you have to make sure that your primary is set up for the correct voltage in order to get the correct secondary uh, voltage coming out the other side of it. Hopefully you found that helpful. We will talk to you again soon.